Hey everybody, Jake here, and I got an unboxing today of an knife I'm very, very excited about. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I will be unboxing it with a CRKT Pilar. Now, normally I don't announce really what I'm doing the unboxing with, but I've been enjoying this knife quite a bit, so let's go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and get this tape cut on the sides over here. Uh oh, sorry about that. Bumped my charging cable. I don't want being so delicate with this box, it doesn't really matter. Just going to cut right through it, actually. And... That adhesive though. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. That is a pretty nice case. Oh wow, this thing's heavy as heck. So, what we have here is probably, I haven't seen it yet obviously, probably the PMP Beast. Um, a very, very nice um, carbon fiber esque um, case here. It's obviously not carbon fiber. Um, decent zipper, very stout. It does have some flex to it, but it's it's a pretty uh pretty nice case there. Go ahead and unzip it. Let's see what we got. Okay, so first off, we have a microfiber um a freaking microfiber towel apparently with the uh, PMP knives logo on the inside. It looks like this has already been opened, which is fine. We have a little um, metal card here that tells you all the specs of the knife. Um, so I'll give you a second to look over that. I'm not going to convert those to metric because that's a lot of work. And then it has the PMP uh, logo on the back. And right here, in this little sleeve, we have the knife. Let's take a look. Ooh, that is big. So I did buy the second hand, so it's not new. Um, there's some uh, heat anodization to the clip, but holy crap, this thing's big. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way, and um, I'll just, just for fun, bring up the CRKT Pilar that I was just using. It's uh, minuscule next to this. I also have here the ZT-0450CF. Somewhat similar-ish, kind of in length, not really. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, this is a big knife. This is a very, very big knife. Let me get all this out of frame. It's not wanting to stay that way, but it's going to. Okay, um, let's see. So we have uh, titanium. This is TC4 titanium. So that is something. So it's not going to be the same as the... Uh, 6, 6 alv 4 whatever the heck titanium we use here in America. Um, this is made in China. The centering is piss poor, I can tell you that now. Um, I'll have to try to adjust that. The clip is pretty good, actually. Um, although there will be, like, a, a solid inch sticking out of your pocket. Also, this blade stock. Can we talk about this for a minute? Because this is ridiculous. I'm going to bring back the uh, ZT here for comparison. Holy crap, man. So you won't be doing any cutting with this. This will more be like a chopping. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, this, the detent on this is crazy. <laughs> That's a freaking sword. That's what it feels like I'm molting right now. <laughs> this is so stupid. Who the hell would buy this apart from me? Oh, wow. Can I open it with it? Yeah, I can open it kind of with the uh, grooves. I'm sorry about all the ink all over my hand, guys. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, that's um, ridiculous, to say the least. I will say something. All joking aside, this feels fantastic in my hand. This is like a perfect fit for me, ergonomically. Like, my hand slots right in there. That's great. Although I feel like if you're using this, like you're going to war or something. Um, 
So the reason I picked this up is um, a Reddit user um, got it, figured out it wasn't the, the material that they thought it was, and decided to sell it, and I was like, uh, heck yeah. Um, so I got a really, really good deal on this. Um, I, I won't, you know, say their name, but kudos to them. Thank you a ton. That's It was an incredible, incredible deal. Now, you can pick these up for $250. That sounds like a lot, but... You are getting titanium, even though it's not the higher grade of titanium, and <laughs> I'm never going to get old. <laughs> you get D2 steel, um, which is pretty good. Um, Semi-rust pearl, but you have a coating, at least on this one. So they have it in this finish, which is the raw titanium and the camo blade. My least favorite finish, to be honest, but at the price, I did not turn up my nose at it because it's still freaking cool. They also have a blue, a titanium with like a satin blade which is the same as the blade on the blue and they have a bronze titanium with a um, dlc coated blade just for fun let's just uh bring out some size comparisons here so we, we have the zt over 50 we have the crkt pylar this is ridiculous um the comparison that i've wanted to make the most since i bought the thing though is this one, and that is my Victorinox, which is, I just had it in my pocket, it's over here now. Victorinox Classic. So you can see roughly handle size, they're about the same length. Um, let's take out the blade. I think the Victorinox may fall short on this one. Yeah, just a little bit, the blade's just a little little longer on the uh, the beast there. Yeah, so that's that's hilarious. This is fantastic. I cannot freaking wait to review this one. This is so stupid, and I love it. Oh, goodness gracious. This is fantastic. I've never... I don't think I've been this happy about a knife in a long time. This is just so fucking dumb. I'm sorry about the language. This is so, so dumb. This is amazing. This is the best thing ever, and I think everyone who is into knives should try out the... Uh, the Beast by PMP Knives. Even that name sounds jackassy. Like, it just sounds so stupid. Does anyone buy this and, like, be like, oh, yeah, that's the knife I want? No. Like, get get a normal knife, a normal size knife that barely fits in your hand like the rest of us. If you're buying this as, like, your serious knife, I think you have other issues, but I'm going to be honest with you. This is crazy. I love this thing. This is freaking great. I'm actually going to do a disassembly on this as well, so I'll record that and put it up for you guys. I don't normally do disassemblies all that often, but uh, this is going to have to be one I do. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my other stuff, and there will be a review of this guy coming up fairly soon, within probably um, sometime in September. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are, and uh, have a good one. Bye.